I'm not here to be messy and I'm not here to expose this person. It's really like a, let me just let you guys know why I've had to take a real literal mental health break. I got the apartment with this person and a lot of people are telling me like, oh, don't move in with them. They're mad fake. They're hella weird. They don't really appreciate you. They're always making you do stuff you're uncomfortable with. I basically told the person I didn't want to go to Paris for their birthday and I would celebrate their birthday with them in LA. And, um, and that person got mad at that and basically just started blacking on me. And it was supposed to be me, that person, and their sister. And the sister also said that they weren't going to be going to the party in Paris. And she got the smoke too, but then flipped it around and gave me some of her smoke. So then the bitches started jumping me and I was like, nah, we weren't talking about something. If I moved into the apartment, that it was going to be World War III. They started trying to beef with me, started saying mad fat phobic color and shit in my comments and in my phone number. At first I tried to de-escalate the situation, you know, keep it cool, keep it calm, keep it cordial. But they got too comfortable and they got too disrespectful and I had to do my big one. What do y'all? What up? What up? So you might be like, Keith, what are you doing today? This is a different setup. Let me tell y'all. So today I am officially starting my taking YouTube serious posting every week, at least once a week. And I know I say that all the time, so you're probably not gonna believe me till it happens understandable but you know it is december you know vlogmas as they say i'm not doing that shit also i know haircut so don't be talking about me in the comments because i'm still pretty so what about it basically what i'm gonna do my goal is to post 10 times this month i can really do two i know i'm struggling but you know i'm a, with the help of y'all because i told y'all in that one video i need y'all to dm me like where's the videos where's the videos where's the videos y'all were there doing it y'all even commenting in my lives on tiktok my like tiktok comments and stuff so yeah, anyway, let's get into the video. This is my very first ever mukbang. Pause the video. Go get your food. Go get a cracker. Now, you ain't got no food, go get a cracker. Make sure you got some of the on. I got a hoodie on. I got my pajamas. I even got the fire right here. Fuck, that, that shit was hot. Yeah, today's mukbang, I got some, ooh, yummy. Seafood from Pure 88, boiling soup, seafood and barm. Is this normal where y'all at? This one over here, that's why I got the, the heater on. But you know, it also gives like that Christmas vibe. Like, you know, like, oh, burn. I'm cold. I got a pound of the snow crab. I got some eggs in there. And then I got a half pound of shrimp. And it got some eggs and some corn in there. I'm not eating all that corn. Like, let's tie it up. I got... What the fuck is this? This is sausage. I ordered... I wanted the sausage to be in this. I didn't... know. Okay. I'm gonna be right back. I need to go get, like, a bowl, for real, because this is ridiculous. I'm bad. I got me a nice big bowl. Crab in there. What have y'all been up to? I've just been, you know, chilling, trying to get my life back together. Clearly, as you can tell by the title of this video, it is a story time of one of the videos that I mentioned in my recent YouTube video, my vlog with Ricky in Salem, where I was doing like a little life update where I left and how I moved to LA. This is recent, y'all. And mind you, if you in the comments, don't try to go figure out who the person is. Try to be messy. I'm not saying the person's name because once again, this video is not to be messy. This video is simply to just be like, let y'all know what happened. Like, I think this is like literally crazy. I've never been done dirty like this ever in my life it's probably not smart to use bathroom cleaner when you're about to eat your food but okay you make it stronger but yeah y'all this video is not to be messy it's just like one i can tell any story time that i want to that happened to me yeah two this happened like two months ago so if you are naming somebody that you ain't seen me hang out with in over a year don't put their name in the comments. If you know who I'm talking about, don't put their name in the comments. This is Fred Meyer Bram. Thank you, Fred Meyer. Sponsor this video next time. This train wreck of a story. Yeah, if y'all know me, if you're on my spam account on Instagram, at Keys on the Love, follow it if you haven't. Also, follow my main account, why not? Then you know that, like, my at-home life is not the best. I'm really ready to just leave. Like, I do not like Washington, right? That was really why I would ignore a lot of the red flags that would come up in this friendship especially with the two tenants that i was about to move in with so a few months ago i made a post i'm gonna put it, the screenshot up here and i was basically just i posted a screenshot so this is when we were looking for the apartments right and it was me this friend and their sister now let's get into that first i remember being skeptical of moving in with the sister because i was like you know all this person and mind you this is their half sister so they don't share a mom and share a father every time this person would talk about her sister she'd be talking about how dirty she was and she would say you know she don't clean up and she's lazy and with the whoop and I'd be like not too much like leave my homegirl alone because if we about to be roommates why are you starting shit you know what I mean like why are you why are you making drama for even like before we even move in like that's real toxic it's real weird but I'm not gonna lie like I've only had met the sister a few months prior and the person would tell me all types of stuff but just all type like oh how they haven't had a job in x amount of years because their parents let them like you know all they do is like clean closets and stuff for a living and I was like uh, right, row. Maybe we shouldn't have them move in as a tenant. They were like, no, like they're gonna start. This is what our this is our base model for the rent. If I remember correctly, I forgot what the okay. So one of the creators is way bigger than me, and the sister isn't a creator at all. I feel like I'm. I feel like I just missed the point that I was about to make. One second. Like I can't eat and do this. Like girl, I'm really getting into this term. Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about the Instagram post in a second. But the sister would pay because she wasn't a creator, and she was gonna get a job out in LA. They paid a thousand. I paid 1600 I think it was like 25 or 24 or something. I forget, but it was something. The rest was covered by 
my friend. This brings us to the Instagram post. So the sister ended up saying how she was gonna do OnlyFans. That was gonna pay her bill. She was gonna use her sex appeal to her, you know, to her advantage. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm probably not gonna really edit this video that much, by the way. I'm gonna be like jump cuts, little things here and there, but you know, what y'all food tastes like? What you eat? Comment down below. She was basically saying how she was gonna do OnlyFans, da 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 da. And so this was the problem that I had with them. Every time, because they were viewing apartments, they were in LA when I wasn't, right? And they knew how important this was for me because I'm very, very vulnerable. Like, y'all think, if y'all in my fan account, you know how vulnerable I am on there. But to my friends who get the real, like, uncut story and stuff, it's like I'm very, very vulnerable. And they knew how important this was to me. Like, I would literally call the friends sometimes and I would literally be crying about how I felt like I was stuck and da 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 da. And I felt like, you know, I wasn't going anywhere. I was just unmotivated, da da da. And she'd be like, like, we're about to move to LA soon. Keep your head up, like, da 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 da. And another big thing that I would be vulnerable about was like my social anxiety, my weight. Like, this is like the start of my ED. Um, like, you know, I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm struggling. Like, I really want this to work out. I feel like it really helped me mentally. I'm like, you know, have y'all big, have y'all toured these apartments yet? Have y'all toured these apartments yet? Have y'all toured these apartments yet? And I'm not gonna say they weren't 100% like, or they were 100% like lazy and they didn't feel like it. But as you can see in the screenshot, in like I'll even, I remember I put a screenshot of the um, text message at that time in there too. So I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the whole thing right here on the side. She was literally like, like playing like, oh, I just fell asleep or we're doing this, like they're doing that. Oh, we're going out tonight, we're doing this. Like it was starting to irritate me. I remember I told you the sister was gonna pay a thousand dollars rent. I mean, we're like, you know, if you start making real money, you'll, your rent will go up. I feel like that's nothing but fair. In my opinion. What to do y'all? So I didn't explain this part well enough, but what I was saying was like we weren't telling her like, oh bitch, we're basically in charge of how much you're about to get paid or how much you're gonna be paying rent every month. But we were basically like, we live in a luxury three bedroom mid rise apartment in West Hollywood. Like this shit is expensive. So if you're starting to make this OnlyFans money and it's really starting to blow up and you start making like bands and bands and bands a month, girl, your rent is gonna go to like, you know, twelve hundred to help alleviate the price from us because you know, a thousand dollars rent, like be for real. But we can start you off at a thousand. So why the sister go? Mind you, ooh, ooh, there's so much in this story, y'all. There's so much in the story. So the sister's gonna tell me, hey, can you post my OF? And I'm like, no. I got kids on my like account. I'm not about to promote your OF. If I start one, I remember that was, they were low-key trying to convince me. I was like, ooh, like I do got a big old booty. Like, da da da. But I knew I was at the end of the day. So I was just like, okay, if I start one, then I guess I could post yours, because why not? I already posted mine, but no, I'm not doing that. I got kids on there. And I got family on there. She gonna say, oh, okay, well, if you post me, I'll be making more money, and that's less rent for you have to pay. Maybe if you got a fucking job, that would already happen, no? She didn't want to work, like, a full-time job, you know? I get it. I wouldn't want to work a full-time job, too. At the, at the time, at this moment, I was working at an Amazon, right, a grocery store. And... It was like flex because my parents were like, okay, while you're home, we want you to do social media and get a job. So based on my shift for like four hours, I could only, I would only require to do one a week, but I would do like five, I would do five. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four hour shifts, 20 hours a week. It was cool. I can do that because I'm making bands regardless. She can't. She wouldn't get a job like that, but she didn't have no requirements. You don't have no money. Mind you, remember I told you that the friend would tell me all the business like, I literally had to buy this for her. I'm tired of buying this for her. Like she was talking mad shit about her. I'm like, it was irritating me because I'm like, girl, you're about to ruin our plans that we're about to have to get prolonged who in this apartment because you don't want to get what you have to get done done. I was starting to get irritated. All the comments. Even some of my friends were like, because they, my friends knew how I was talking about the comments. Even when I posted screenshots, I never put my friend in the sister's name in there because I didn't want my followers to go attack them. Like, it was never like that. Mind you, they were on the spam account too, so I wasn't talking shit. I'm saying my opinion and mind you i voiced this opinion with them like are y'all gonna do this y'all gonna do like what's going on they finally look at their apartments da, da, da. we're real picky about them like you know everything was cool so i kind of you know slept under the bridge took the post down like they were trying to show initiative that they cared so i was like okay maybe i was tripping fast forward i took a trip to la right we're about to go out there we're visiting the apartments or twin apartments we tour one right across the street from the girl's my friend's house, right? She lived in a townhouse in LA. And that was, oh, here's that. She lived in a townhouse, right? And the rent was like, like 5,800 a month. She was saying how, you know, at the time, you know, the, the like she was just having a slow month. That was happening. Every creator was low-key having like a slow month. That month, like promos were just not coming in. Cause when you're an influencer, the brands are, you know, they kind of do their promos in quarters. So like Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. And it was just a quarter that was not giving no money. She was like, 
say how it was starting to get hard to pay her rent and how she had to you know come to a decision to either be like let me pay my rent or my car note and i was like you know damn i was i remember staying on the phone giving her ideas like oh i know that this place works with creators monthly you can get at least this much out of them then you could do this do that like i was dead helping her i never judged her for being down because at the end of the day we're all down and we all be down and it happens like i'm like who am i to judge you know what i mean so this bitch was like you know she wants to be my roommate and mind you i was in a content house i don't know if y'all remember it was it was called the galaxy house mad ghetto hella corrupt i'm gonna give a story time about that too like the managers was in there fucking like everything like i'm gonna give a story time about that that's gonna be my next two story that's so all after the story time i'm posting after this one about that boy y'all can get that too they was spending money from us like crazy i haven't cracked into this crab yet so anyways y'all she um was saying how she wanted to be my roommate because living alone was too much for her like as much as as far as like rent it was a big ass hell home too like three stories in that bitch like it was hella big hella nice and well i mean if she kept it clean but you know we ain't even gonna get into that we're never gonna talk about that you know she was like you know like i'm ready to move in with you like i would like to move in with you and i remember i had asked her after um the guy's house like the thing ended i was like okay i know you're not like used to roommates but is it okay if i like stay with you for like just like two months so i until i can like find my own place in la da, da, da. i first she said no but then she couldn't pay that rent. So she came running back, talking about some, you know, oh, now she want to be a roommate, da da da. And I peeped. And I was like, hmm. But I never said anything. I was trying to chop it up as maybe let me give her the benefit of the doubt and just say, like, you know, she isn't like living alone, being a woman by herself. And it's just a big, like, a big house. She don't want to have all that responsibility. So she ended up getting to the point where the people had to give her a notice, like, you know, if you don't pay this, like, we're taking this and i remember she was so stressed about it and i was just like i felt for her and i was like you know like we're gonna figure this out together like i was always so supportive and that's why the whole situation like after i tell y'all the end y'all about to be like bro like this bitch is weird she ended up making a plan to the people she's like okay if i pay these two because she had okay how do i explain this without giving out too much information she had another business i can't i don't want to say which cause i don't want y'all to use it to figure out who it is but she had another business and the person who was like basically managing or you know creating that business for her you know what i mean like making the product for her ended up wanting she he wanted her to stay with that brand with his brand so he sent her over thousand dollars actually instead of saying the whole amount i feel like that's a bit much i'm, I'm actually gonna bleep that out he ended up sending her a shit ton of money like over a, a big 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 amount of money like in the hundred thousand she paid the two months or the month whatever she didn't pay and she was like, can I still leave? And they granted her that. So they were like, okay, we're gonna move it to the apartment ASAP. I remember just being so excited, so happy. Like, I was ecstatic. I was so, I thought I was about to get out. Um, Washington. I feel like I've been very adamant, even on my social media, about how I hate it here. Oh, yeah, so that's what I was telling y'all. We go to, I take a visit to LA, and we go to this apartment that was right across the street from her town home. We, all of us just fall in love with it. End up, like, after the tour, the lady kind of persuaded us to just apply then. Like, why not? So we fuck it. And of course, the sister had no money for the um, application fee, so me and the girl had to split a thousand dollars. So I put my five hundred in, she put her five hundred in, right? And mind you, never got that five hundred back at the end of this. Like, bro, bum bitches, like literally. The cousin, the not cousin, the sister was like, "I'll give you guys your money back." Da da da. And we ended up by the end of the trip, we found out that we were pretty much about to get accepted. So I was so geeked up, like y'all was so excited, right? I go back home from the trip, and I was like you know kind of happy i was going home to an extent because when they're out they're party animals like they love to go out i have social anxiety like i do not like to go out and see or not seattle like to the parties that they like to go to because one i feel like as a, like they like to be around that ghetto ass hood shit as a gay man straight straight niggas don't like that shit let's keep it real like a lot of them do not like that shit especially when them they're those ignorant ass old ghetto niggas like old as in like 24 25 like we're not we're not about to act like People are not homophobic just because they're in LA. Like, I don't give a fuck. Mind you, this was downtown LA. We in, in West Hollywood where everybody's gay. No, we're in the we're in a hotel. Like they love to go to this one specific hotel because this girl, she was they, my friend was obsessed with this one boy who did not like her. Like she was obsessed with him, and she would only want to go to see him, but she would try to mask it as like, oh, like I hope he's not here today. I hope he's not here today. Da 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 da. Like. And we'd be like, girl, like, what? So you, like, and you know, it wasn't fun for me because there would never be no niggas there for me. It's only fun for y'all because y'all are women. Y these, th this, your, this is your forte. This is your crowd. And I would tell them that, like, I don't like going out. I don't like going out. And I would tell them, like, you know, 
my I feel like I get judged for my weight. I feel like I get judged for being gay. I feel like da 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 da. And the response will always be for the um friend, for my friend, right? She would be what's clever her name? We're gonna give her Tony and Avril. So Tony and Avril, right? And Tony will always tell me she'd be like I get what you feel like. Like, I literally had to push myself. Like, I was skinny. I was so, 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 so skinny. And people would tell me that I look like a bag of bones and da, 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 da. And I had to get over it until I felt confident. I had to just fake it. Okay, one, being skinny shame and fat shame, two different things. Both terrible, two different things. You would never get discriminated against because you are skinny. I do not care what nobody says. Like, you could be very, very, very skinny where it's unhealthy. And people are gonna look, they're definitely gonna have their opinions. Everybody's gonna have their parents, their opinions, period. But they're not about to be like treating you different because you're skinny. If anything, they're gonna try to help you and encourage you to eat more and you know get healthier. If you're hella fat, people are gonna stay away from you or they're not gonna fuck with you and they're gonna pick on you. Like that's I don't care what nobody says. And I will always tell her, like, stop using that example. Like that's mad weird. Like, you know what I mean? Another thing she would do like that would be like, I would never want to go to the gym in LA with her because she goes to this gym that's I'm not going to say the name of it, but it's like all influencers, it's like gym influencers there, niggas with bulk ass, built buff ass bodies, not me, I'm not, that's not my crowd, and I felt like I was getting, like, looked at, like, I just don't like feeling uncomfortable, and every time I try to go, she would try to make me feel bad about it, like, really bitch, like, da 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 or she would just be talking mad, she like, come on, go to the gym, and I would be on the phone with Ricky, uh, they'd be on the phone with Ricky, and she would be here all the time, and we'd be talking, like, girl, like, you see, like, I'd be like, you see, you gotta be talking about, like, that's not cool. And Ricky would be like, yeah, sister, I'm sorry. Like, da 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 She would dead be getting irritated by it because she respected my friendship with this person. She would never talk shit, right? But I knew Ricky didn't like this person either. This person would always do stuff to make me feel, that would make me feel uncomfortable and I would tell them and that's all they would say is try to be like, I was skinny once and da 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 I got bullied for it too. But you're not as skinny as you were. You're not getting bullied. We're not the same. You don't go on live and people just randomly talk about you because you're big. That doesn't happen when you're skinny. I, pro I promise you that's not happening when you're skinny. I do not care. And not to say that skinny shaming is um, not important. Like, it's both, like, they're both terrible. Like, I don't understand why people's infatuation would talk about another person's weight. But at the same time, you're not gonna get discriminated against like how you would if you were big. Anyway, so I go home, we get excited, I get, we get accepted. I'm like, okay, I start packing myself immediately. I tell my job, like, okay, I gotta start work on this. Like, I tell them to transfer me from the one in where I worked to the one in North Hollywood. Everything was going cool. Like, I remember the sister and them, they would always be like, oh, for Halloween, let's go to this party and let's match, let's do the da 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 And let's do this, let's buy this, let's do that. And them in LA, you don't just go to one party, especially as an influencer. You go to multiple different parties, multiple different outfits. For what? For what? I already am nervous to be around all these people. Now, mind you, I'm going to be real. When it comes to like influencer parties, I'm never nervous because I feel like an influencer kind of has to accept you because then they're going to get canceled. So I dare you to say something to me. You know what I mean? But if I'm in a party with a bunch of random ass, nigga, ghetto ass hood niggas, right? And not even just hood niggas, it'd be regular niggas there too, but you know, niggas who just give me that vibe, like they are a little uncomfortable or they don't really like to be around that gay shit. I'm going to be a little bit more timid because it's just like it takes one time for me to start twerking and the nigga mumble something and I'd be like, what? Now we're fighting a his homie tried jumping. That's just the, the thought that I have in my mind. Not to say that has ever happened or that people do not fuck with that gay shit, especially in the part of LA that we would be at for these parties. I live in Seattle, y'all, so I had to like pack all my shit up, ship it to LA, find a way to ship my car to LA. I had to get a new insurance because I had to change my car into my name. So, and I get, you know, that's just my insurance would go up because I'm younger, I'm a risk. And I was just like, you know what, like, hey guys, like I'm actually not gonna be going to the parties this year, da 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 da, because I don't wanna spend mad money. Like, I'm already spending hella to go out there. Mind you, we still needed to have our first month's rent, like, you know, ready and prepared for when we moved in. I'm being smart. Like, no, I'm not about to keep spending money on a bunch of parties for people who don't care about me. Because y'all, mind you, side story, I've been to parties. I should tell these story times too. But there's been times where I went to parties in LA and been drunk and the people that took me, that I went there with have left me there drunk, my phone about to die. And if it wasn't for a stranger letting me charge my phone, I did don't know how I was gonna get home. I didn't know the address of the person's house I was staying at. And it was just like a whole thing. And I was literally like drunk in the middle of Beverly Hills. Like, no, and it's just like, it was. I was at this one, like, ugh. Like, I don't want to talk about it. It's just irritating. But, you know, she knows how I feel about going out in front of creators because they don't give a fuck. And mind you, that's happened to me twice in LA. I've been done wrong twice. So, no, absolutely not. I'm not spending money to go mess with a bunch of niggas who don't care about my well-being. What? Y'all, so this is when the messy shit happened. We won't jump to the messy shit. And if I forget something and I have to put it in here, you'll see the 
editing me like talking about it so the day before the trip right or the day before i moved out there right me and my family went to the state fair and there was this boy that i was flirting with on the internet right he ran we were like being petty so we hadn't talked for like three days but y'all i looked at his story for the first time in those three days and i said that he took a flight and then it's the was like landing and it said washington I'm like, what? That was like hours before. And then it said three minutes ago on the story, he was at the exact same fair that I was at, like gagged me. He lives all the way on the East Coast. Like, I was like, bro, what are the odds? I called the friend, I called, ooh, I'm gonna say her name. What did I say? Tony. Oh my God, I just explained that to her. And she starts talking about her birthday. She was saying how she was about to do a party in Paris. And I was like, oh, period. And I was like, um, oh, you didn't have to buy me. That's cool, that's cool. You didn't have to buy me. I'm gonna be lit by myself, da 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 And then, we just laugh. If y'all know me, like y'all know my personality, I just be bullshitting. I'm so unserious. Like it's literally in my TikTok bio, hella unserious. Uh, and mind you, we play like this often. Like I play this with all my friends. I even play like this with my followers. Like y'all be seeing me on live, y'all be knowing. She was like, why would I invite you and you don't like to go out in LA? Why would I invite you to a whole different country? And I was like, girl, you know how she's playing, but facts though. No shit. She was like basically trying to convince me to go. And she was like, the plane tickets are mad cheap right now. Like you can even pay in fours. So, you know, you don't have to spend extra money. Da -da -da -da. Oh! Oh fuck. And I told her like, okay, I'll think about it. Like, okay, I'll go. Like, I was trying to step out my shell a little bit. I was like, yo, okay, I'll go. Now, mind you, she was inviting this boy I had a crush on, right? She knew I had a crush on him. He didn't. I mean, I hope he didn't. I mean, she probably, knowing how a fake bitch this bitch was, she probably ended up telling him before I even found out. I had a big crush on this boy, right? And she was like, I'm about to invite him. And, and she was like, you need to try to like flirt with him. And you got three months or four months, whatever the, whatever it was, like however many months it was to our birthday to start flirting. And I was like, okay, period. I'm, I'm going to take you up on that. I'm getting myself out there, like, y'all moving to LA, I can try. So, y'all, he had relations with this other boy, right? She would tell me, like, as, like, he would, like, I should have known this bitch was an opera. What are you telling me all your friend's business for? But she would be like, oh, like, he just slept with this boy, da da da, da. He said how much he likes him, how he would really cuff him, and da 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 And then she would tell me, knowing I had a crush on him, and I'd be like, damn, like, okay, well, I kind of forgot about it. Like, what can I do? Like, I didn't think he was going to like me anyway because I had really low self-esteem. She told me when she was talking about the trip, after she said she was going to invite him, she goes, oh, and by the way, I'm inviting that boy that he slept with because he was a French boy. And she was like, I'm inviting him too because he lives out there. And I was like, weird bitch alert, weird bitch. What? And she was like, I'm not inviting him. She was like, I'm inviting him out there too because um, I don't care. Like, we're about to have fun. Da -da -da. And I was like, what? Like, why would you do that? It's mad awkward for me. She tells me, you know, bitch, you better have a threesome. And I'm like, what? So I tell you I'm uncomfortable with me being around someone I have a crush with and someone that they clearly have mad feelings for and the only reason it didn't work out for them is because they live in different countries. You will invite all three of us on the same trip so I can be in their face. Like, why would you put me in that un uncomfortable situation? And then when I tell you it makes me uncomfortable, you wanna tell me I have a threesome? Bitch, you're weird. I immediately was like, no, nah, I'm not going. And she was like, she kind of got irritated and she was like, well, bitch, I don't care, go or not, I'm gonna have fun. I was like, period. I was like, okay, bitch, I gotta go because my family's got this roller coaster. I'm gonna talk to you later. And so she's like, okay, bet. So we're texting and she still texts me about it, right? And I have made a joke about how, if y'all have ever seen the movie Taken, it happens in Paris, right? And I was like, you wanna be in Taken so bad. Like, you wanna be the Taken character so bad, right? Joking. And she was like, she was like, um, that's in America stinks. Da -da -da. She was like, that's in America stinks. Or whatever the fuck she said. And I was like, okay, girl, joke's over, but like, Taken was actually in Paris. Like, what do y'all saw? I'm about to put this little part in here because I feel like I have to explain this because y'all need to peep like how I peeped it too. Later in the video, I'm gonna address how after she told me to have a threesome with these boys after saying I was uncomfortable being around both of them at the same time, especially in the circumstances that they were, she said that on the phone in the call. And then I was like, and I was just like, okay, bitch, I'm about to get off. My family's about to get off this ride. And then when I hung up, she just sent me a bunch of like LMAO, da 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 da. And I was like, you're being ignorant. Like, I'm not doing this with you. And her justification for being ignorant is fuck was bitch you're gonna be in paris i'm gonna have a one night stand okay bitch that's your sloppy ass so you're not about to come on a trip because the movie taken no like i'm not going to trip because i'm not comfortable <laughs> i don't want to mind you this isn't just no i don't i don't got a, I still don't got a passport you need to buy this passport get it expedited so it gets here on time pay for a plane ticket pay for a hotel Wait, mind you rents do at the, at the beginning of every month i don't get wired over a hundred thousand dollars that, that just don't happen for me that ain't happened to me yet so you can do that I'm not doing that. And you know, I think of lifestyle expenses too. I still had to get stuff in my room, like my TV, my bed frame, like drawers and stuff. Like I had to, like, you know, I have other stuff to worry about. Like that's not really on my mind. I was like, I'll do something for you, like a dinner or something for y'all here. And the conversation just gets heated. Like, and I can see she's getting irritated. And I'm like, Tony, what are you talking about? Like, 
she's basically saying how, okay, that's fine. You don't gotta come. Like, I'm gonna have fun regardless. Da, 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 and just trying to imply that I was fake. So then her sister, right? She asked her sister. And her sister said the same thing. Like, nah, I think I'm gonna just sit this one out because like, I know it doesn't seem like a lot to y'all. A thousand dollars isn't a lot to y'all, but to me, that's hella money. Like, I can't afford to just be spending money on rent and on these travels and shit. Now, gag this, gag this, y'all. Tony told me that Avril used to do coke. I thought she used to do coke. What do you mean? Like, you know, another red flag of like, why are you telling me your sister's business? I just would ignore it because like, y'all, I really wanted to move into this apartment and I was like, I, there's no way she's talking about me like that. Because just last year, the, wait, the main reason we got close, the year prior on her birthday, no one came to her birthday. And this is in LA, this is a club in LA. And they all were a, not even a like five minute radius from the club. And then niggas got there hours late. She had like a whole little like episode about it, right? I was the only one there when she was ready to guzzle down a bottle of ibuprofen. I was sitting there waiting for her, being like, no, like we can do this together, like we're friends. Like I'm not about to let you do that. Like I just, we got so close because that year when them friends didn't even go down the street for her birthday that she known for way longer than me. And mind you, it was a risk for me because I wasn't 21. And it was like, okay, if I Uber there and I don't get in, I have to Uber back. These people were over 21 and they still didn't come to your shit. Like they just, it's no shade, like those are not your friends. She was just talking mad shit about them. I was just ignoring the red flags of her being a fake ass bitch. You know, she basically asked her sister, sister said the same thing as me, like, you know, we got funds to pay for. We'll take you out here, there, there. We'll do whatever you want out here, but I just don't think I'm gonna take the trip with you. Then she gonna come back to the messages with me, right? And just start saying how the only real people that she has in her life are the boy that I had a crush on. We're gonna name him Z. Z and my mom are the only real bitches in my life. Da, 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 da. And then she has said, this is what really blew me. She goes, I got y'all into that apartment and now it's you guys can't come to Paris. Real funny. What bitch? You got who into that apartment? Let's not forget, I had a job. I had a I was employed and I was self-employed. It took both of our income to be in there because I already had money in my bank account. I put my bank statements in there and I put my um, statements from my PayPal and all my other transfers and stuff from like brand deals. And I was the first person to get approved. Let's not forget. The manager was even like, Keith got approved like exceptionally fast. Like I, that was one of the fastest I've ever seen. Thank you. Good credit. Good income. Thank you. So she, this bitch gonna say, I'll go with Z and my mom, the only real bitches I know. So then she, this is what she said. One motherfucker, she's talking about the sister. Can't take basically a free trip without guilt tripping me. And then she put in quotes, I'm gonna have to stay inside and never go out. I'll just go home and work. That's it. That's why I bought her doing that coat. When she did that coat, I guess she lost mad weight. I've only seen her as like a little bit like of a chubbier girl. She wasn't big, but she was definitely a little chubby. The sister was basically like, I don't, I can't, like I have to buy new clothes. Like you forget all my clothes. They don't fit me. They're small on me because I, you know, got healthy again, I got clean, I gained a little bit of healthy weight. The sister's response to her was, and mind you, I, you know, we gon', <laughs> we gon' wait. I'm gonna tell you how I found that out in a second. So she gon' say, I'm gonna have to stay inside, never go out, I'll just go home and work, that's it. Because Tony basically said, I'll help pay for your ticket, you just pay me back, but you have to have your own spending money. And she's like, well, girl, I barely have that now. Like, I barely have enough money for rent. How you want me to have rent and spending money and travel money to go to Paris? So you know what I mean? And like, when she said, you're the only real bitches I know, I was like, a slap in the face to me because girl I was the only real bitch that kept you alive let's not forget I said you know your feelings aren't the only ones involved right now you know what I'm over it. if you don't want me coming I won't it's fine I had ended up saying like okay like I can see that you're tripping like you're blacking for no reason I'll just go like I'll go and then she was like no don't come no more don't come I don't want you to come what do you want what, what, what are we talking about right now then Look at my fireplace, it's all cute. But babe, I was like, listen, I don't really care. I just don't want you to think that I don't want to come because your birthday is unimportant to me. Like, I'll come to your birthday. It's not that it's unimportant to me, but girl, I want to, like, I'm nervous. Like, and you know, I also have other bills to pay. Like, I'm not as like comfortable as you when it comes to finances. Like, and I was like, it's just because I've never been out the country. And I was like, I would hate to feel like shit the whole time in front of so many pretty people. And I'm talking about her, the sister, the boy I had a crush on, the boy that he had a crush on. They were all like, Fit. Like, yes, she was a little chubby, but she looked good. Like, everybody else was fit. I'm not, like, I just wasn't the beauty standard. And I know, like, I don't dress, like, I don't know how to dress. I'm just now getting into fashion and stuff. And it's like, I don't want to feel uncomfortable. Like, you know I have social anxiety. Like, you know this is way different for me. And I told you I would celebrate something for you out here in LA. What are you crying about? And mind you, this is when I said, when I said I would hate to feel uncomfortable around a bunch of pretty people, this bitch gonna say ugly people are everywhere, even in Paris. Yeah, I'm texting one. I sat there and said multiple times, I wanted y'all to come. And I was like, girl, you're seeing her making a completely neutral situation over the top because you're taking your anger and stress out on us. Okay, so gag, did y'all peep that? This is when this bitch started, like, you know, doubling back on her words because first you told me that I wasn't even invited. And this is exactly why you didn't invite me because you knew I was going to say no. But now that you realize that I didn't care that you didn't invite me and you couldn't use that as leverage over me, you gag because don't nobody give a fuck about that birthday. Clearly. Because I'm not even going to tell her her business because I'm not even going to have a person, but girl, you was going through it and you know you was. And who was there to help you? Me. But now you're taking your anger out on me instead of these niggas and these fake ass friends that be doing it to you.
That's the real game. I have nothing to be stressed about. I really haven't. I'm completely fine. I said, okay, so you left the chat for what? Mad childish. You left the group chat that your roommates are in because, mind you, she looks so stupid. She had to add numbers and then leave the chat. Like, because you can't leave a chat and there's only three people in there. Like, girl, that anti-climatic ass, dramatic ass leave. Like, you look stupid. She said, but let it have been one of y'all's B days. L okay. And then she was like, and y'all both know the bullshit I went through last year. So why are you acting like I'm not a real ass bitch, right? But I know everything you went through last year because I was sitting there helping you. Not your sister, not da 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 da, not your friends. These friends are these real ass bitches. They didn't help you. If anything, they were the reason why you were gonna do the stuff that you were gonna do to yourself and then your followers. Yeah. And then she was like, both y'all told me no off rip. Yeah, okay. I left the chat because I don't like y'all. That rubbed me completely the wrong way. This is why I don't live with people. But y'all don't have to worry about seeing me. My door will be closed. I'm not interacting. Mind you, this is why she says that. That next day when I flew to LA, I was gonna, we were gonna stay at her town home. We were staying at her house until we moved into our unit. So you gonna have me come over and you gonna have your door shut and be mad past aggressive. Like, you're weird. Like, that's childish. That's so childish. The same goes from when you get here. I'm not mad. I'm just really not happy. I'm done with this conversation. Bye. And I was like, so when I said I suck it up because I forgot how important birthdays are especially for you then i wasn't a real bitch no not at all because you told me no at first and i had to convince you but let it have been one of y'all y'all would never have gotten that from me and i'm like tony like girl calm down that's why i don't have friends because i really don't fuck with it i'm good bye and i was like you'll get over it thing because every time we would get in like not arguments but we would get in stuff where i would clearly be irritated she would say the same thing oh think you'll be you'll be over it tomorrow think da, 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 da. and she was like i swear to god i'm not and i was like i said that once too i'm not mean and i don't like to fight so i won't be rude but i'm not gonna forget y'all both did that lol did what i'm good i promise you that tony you told me to get over my anxiety because you're doing this per you're purposely gonna put me in an awkward situation because you wanted to have fun she gonna say huh and i'm like when i told you i didn't want to be around them boys you told me to have a threesome no did i tell you that i was gonna purposely do anything i told you that the stuff that you were saying for not wanting to go made no sense laugh my ass off i was like no you told me i have three months to talk to that boy and then when i said okay i was gonna try myself out there you said that you were gonna bring that boy with him that he slept with and that he clearly had feelings for why would i be put in that situation why would you put me in that situation if it's just gonna be me you, the boy he likes, him, and your sister. You and your sister are gonna have your own date. It's gonna be him and that boy, and then it's gonna be me by myself. I'm not doing that. She was like, I told you to suck it up and have a threesome. Now she's getting, now she's starting to get scared because she knows that she looks, she knows she sounds like a horrible person and she knows that she's about to start an argument. She knows she's about to start an argument because I can de escalate a situation to so long until I feel like you're disrespecting me. And she knew she was about to do that. She was talking about some, you talking about some, you don't wanna be around Z and the French boy. I said, y'all can have a threesome. What are, we, what are we arguing for? She goes, how's that gonna make it awkward anyway? Z and the French boy are not dating, nor are y'all. What? Like, like she, she purposely, she's blatantly ignoring the simple fact that I'm uncomfortable being around a boy that I have a fat crush on. That I'm already I'm already nervous to be around him, period, because I'm insecure in myself. But you gonna put me in a situation where I gotta be around him and someone that is the totally opposite body type of me, totally opposite just confidence level of me, and that he's already dealt with. Anyway, so let's get past that topic. And she basically just tries to gaslight me. No, I have to put it. She gonna say, so how is that awkward for you in any sense if you're not gonna run game on him that makes make no sense if i told you i was going to try to run game on him for the trip so when the trip happens we can have a little bit of like a Florida stage. Why would you think it was smart to bring someone that he already likes? So the arguments just keep going and going and going. She just starts getting like hella mad. Like she starts getting just a little bit more like violent with the words in the sense of you can tell her attitude isn't just an attitude no more. Like now it's starting to be like you can see she's getting angry and she's starting to talk to me like I'm stupid. Like literally the whole time it's like girl you're clearly irritated and you're having like you're having a pissy fit about me not wanting to go to Paris with you because I'm uncomfortable. And she just keeps trying to gaslight me and say, I'm weak as fuck at how you're trying to make me seem. I mean, this used to just show me that she was so hit. Like, you feel attacked right now because it's true. The shoe fits. Bitch, if you would put the blunt down and pick up an appointment to the fucking psychiatrist, these problems would not be happening right now. But you got that raggedy ass God complex. And I'm not the bitch that's going for it. You can try that weak ass shit with the mother hoes, but not me. Bitch, any bitch who use emojis like this. Bitch, you're mad. So this is where it starts getting like, like the heat of conversation starts turning to an argument. So she goes, I see how y'all move. Don't ask me to show up to nothing y'all got going because I will not be in attendance. And I'm just like, okay, that's fine. Not everybody can make it to everything. I'm gonna have my own friends there and I'm gonna have people who matter there. So regardless of which, don't come, do come. You're probably gonna come. Cause at the time I had, I'm thinking, I'm not about to let this be an argument. Like I'm clearly de-escalating the situation because I'm not about to go back and forth with my best friend who I'm about to be moved in with in literally less than 24 hours over a trip. Like it's not, like it's never that important. She gonna say, no, I can make it. And I I'm just like laugh my ass off, okay, bitch. And she said, I just won't come. And I was like, that's fine, everyone can. She was like, cause I don't have to. And I was like, I get it. And she said, period. So then I was like, okay, so now that we established that, this bitch gonna talk about some. I'm about to come up off that lease. So I suggest we end this conversation here. What you say to me, bitch? Absolutely not. I don't care how 
bad of a situation I'm in. I will never let no one talk to me like they're my mother. I'm not letting no bitch who don't got her shit figured out, who got eviction notices on her front doorstep. I ain't never seen an eviction notice in my life. I don't know what that look like. I don't know how to spell eviction. Sorry, I don't. I'm illiterate. And you gonna have the nerve to talk about me, talking about you gonna threaten me to come off that lease because she knows I would not have been able to pay my portion and her portion combined of the rent. Like, I would be li living at my means, like how her dumb ass was looking. I would have to find a whole new spot. And that would fuck up my credit. I would have to leave. That's like all types of stuff. Like, no. And so I was like, are you threatening me with a lease, bro? Like, I love you, Tony, but you're being really nasty right now. Then she starts saying, like, how I never want a roommate. Y'all know how I get. Trying to imply that she was being gracious to let us move in with her. And I'm like, really, bitch? Because I... I don't think you really had a choice. You was gonna be on the streets or you gonna be in this apartment with me. And she just basically just saying how I told y'all I don't like y'all after that. Like, I don't like you no more. I'm gonna remember this. Okay, bitch, take a picture. Take, you, want me, you want me to take a photograph for you? Like, what? So after she left the group chat, she obviously looked stupid as the fuck. Couldn't text the both of us. So she had to make a new group chat. Oh, no, 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 actually, no. That's not true. That's not true, that's not true. I was wrong, I was wrong. To end the conversation, like, so it could be like, you know, I'm not about to keep arguing with you back and forth about this. I said to this person, what you said today wasn't called for at all, especially when I was the only one there for you when you needed me for a long time. And then hearing how you low-key shame me to another person is crazy. You like to use your power over people because this person has millions and millions of followers. You like to use your power over people and that's very nasty trait. Very disappointing because I know you're not a nasty person, but you let your anger take you out of character. Now, let me tell you why I explained that. So, I ended up calling the sister when I got home. Like, at this point, like, my attitude's ruined. Me and my mom had got into it a little bit. I gotta deal with this shit tomorrow. Like, I called the sister, and I'm like, why is she mad at you? She's like, well, you know, I basically told her that $1,000 was a lot for me. I can't afford to be paying rent and doing this, doing that. I had to buy new clothes. Like, my clothes don't fit me anymore. If I went to this trip, I would have to be working nonstop, and I would have no time to enjoy my apartment. I would have no time to enjoy my personal life. Like, I don't want to just be living check to check to accommodate your a birthday trip like that's not that's not what's going down 100% respectable and Tony gonna say to the bitch well that's because you don't have a job right now once you start making money you understand that that's not really that much money so what you need to do is be a real adult get you save your money up this is mind you this is what Avril was telling me Avril told me this out her mouth you need to be a real adult stack your money up don't go outside save your money you'll have some money for the trip bitch who are you to tell me what I need to do to accommodate your birthday party in Paris we was going to Atlanta Miami Chicago. I would have made sure I was there because one, I would not have to worry about the same expenses as I would if I was going to a different country. Like, excuse me, this is a whole different continent we're in, my nigga. So now we're back to the group chat, right? <laughs> we're back to the group chat, this bitch, man. I made a tweet that night because I was just so butthurt. Like, I felt like every time I would tell her, like, my anxiety is because my weight, da 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 Stop trying to compare my weight and your weight problems. They're not the same, and it's harmful to both communities. She would just not give a fuck. So I made a tweet. I sure did. And this is the tweet right here. Stop telling your heavy friends you understand their anxiety because they're being bullied when you got bullied for being skinny. Those are two completely different things, and it's tone deaf as fuck to both communities. Am I wrong? Did I lie? She gonna say both y'all are talking shit on the internet about me and it's not cute. And if I did that, I'd be real wrong. That's some kitty shit. And then so, April was trying to, you know, cop a plea. This bitch knew she was subbing her sister on her story, but she was talking about some, I was crying about a nigga. First, I deleted Instagram, so be for real. I just woke up and watched it and then still seen some stuff. And the fact that you posted anything in my first, in the first place, Tony said, so please don't tell me to be for real. Okay, whatever you say, LOL, that's some kitty shit. Y'all are idiots. Watch the internet shit. That's all I'm saying. Especially Keith. You're not about to keep talking to me stupid. You're not about to keep talking to me like I'm scared of you. I don't care how many followers you have. I don't care what clout you have. You can send all them bitches to my page and me and my girls gonna hold me down. At the end of the day, once I log up off this camera and I took that laptop down and I turn YouTube off, I'm in, I'm in the real world. This is the same person. And mind you, I fall out with people. Like I'm very quick to peep bullshit and check bitches. And if they don't like it, then we're done. I was very, very like that. And I feel like it came off as me being messy. I was like, you know what? Try to escalate the situation. She's talking to me stupid. I got too much self-respect for myself to let anyone my age talk to me like that. And I don't care what circumstances that I might lose. I don't care if I might lose this apartment because you're not talking to me stupid. I don't care. Try to sit with your punk ass sister and your other friend, but not with me. So then she was like, both of y'all talking shit and internet's not cute. And I was like, that's the truth. Your struggle's not mine. Stop pretending it is. Unless you're gonna sit here and make it seem like I was trying to diminish your anxiety, I sat here and had to tell you that I understand in some way what it feels like to be undesirable because of being bullied about your body. Mind you, I do believe that she got bullied. I do, but that, that happens. Skinny people do get bullied. But comparing you getting bullied for being skinny and me getting bullied for being fat, two different things. This is not a Socrates seminar, bitch. That's weird. And she keeps trying to say, I'm just saying, I understand what you're saying. Did not be undesirable. Da -da 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 -da. No, you don't. Because if you did, you would not try to tell your sister after she told you she couldn't fit her clothes and she didn't want to go to Paris with clothes that did not fit her because she was going to feel uncomfortable. You would not have said, okay, well, figure it out. Be an adult. Go to work. And da -da. you don't have, you can't have no fun. I mean, that's what happens when you're an adult. Bitch, what? Oh, I never once sat here and sat struggle the same way as you. And I said, I understood in the same way, even though I am very opposite end. No, you don't. Like, you <laughs> don't.
<laughs> this that's your fucking problem. You're dragging it. And since you want to be so entirely bold and talk shit about me on the internet, I hope you don't think you're staying in my crib. And even if that was the truth about how you felt, when the actual fuck gives you audacity to talk about me on the internet, I ain't post shit, not one thing. First off, bitch. I'm gonna say what I want, not gonna lie. And who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna pop me in the mouth about it? And no, but for real though, her taking away like that stay at her house until we moved in our unit was really a blessing because your house is fucking putrid. Your dog plays in your panties and you put them on that. <laughs> no, I'll play. She'll put them on the same day, but her house is fucking horrible. Oh, really, bitch? You gonna, you gonna kick me out? <laughs> Everything I need to know about this person and how this person felt about me from jump came from that moment right there. You never respected me as a friend. You never respected me as a person. Because if you did, you would not have been talking like that. And you would have pulled that shit. There is, no, there is no way you're staying in my house. So I might as well figure it out until October 2nd. Mind you, this is, this is September 24th. Right now, so you can't go in the room. Oh. But this, I am the female Wheezy. 